Welcome back to the Law Factor Live, where we just we discuss how we can help your bodies help us. Okay, I should actually say how we are going to discuss with you how we can help your body to help yourself. Okay, now we're going to be continuing this line of thought, and if you want to ask any questions, we are we will be opening the phone lines uh, quite soon, and you'll be able to ask the questions, and you know how to to contact us. But Roger, we've been talking a lot about what's going on in the inside, um, and a lot of people are more concerned with what's going on on the outside. And of course, both of them work together because in you training the outside, you also tell people how to treat their insides in your own way. Yeah. Okay. Um, me for me. Fitness, just in general terms, is the ability to do anything at any given time, even if you never did it before. So one of the things I tell my clients oftentimes is don't use the word can't. You know, um, most of my clients are women. Most of them have nev never done a push-up before. And that's one of the very first things they do. And when they do that, just the look on the face of doing a so-called man push-up or the standard push-up. I think that's very hard Italian. to do. I think I can do a man push-up. I know you can do a man push-up. <laughs> but look at her arms, they're nice and firm. You know, I couldn't uh, do I one. Do it's, it's surprising. I mean, your mom does man push-ups. Oh, mm. man. You know. Mm. So what I'm saying is, is um, the ability to do anything, even if you never did it before, fitness-wise, mm -hmm. um, is, is about taking more control over your body or taking back control over your body. I often say stuff like, you know, your muscles are on vacation. So now we're looking to get them back on, uh, from vacation and, and, and take more control of your body. And I think set yourself up for longer life, better quality mm -hmm. of life. Um, use it as a pathway to good health. So it's not just the physical aspects in terms of, of, of what you do, but I also look at how you eat and how you treat yourself. You know, for instance, one of the things that I, um, my clients would get is a, a monthly massage. You know, not from a pampering standpoint, but to make sure that the muscles, mm -hmm. you know, are free of knots, you know, from the contractions, everything, when you're working out, lifting weights and so on and so forth, make sure that you're not tight, you're not, you don't get tension headaches in the neck and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. um, and so, for me, that's that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. Would you be? Would it be fair to say that some people treat their uh, fitness and, and health as? the last chance resort, like somewhat like a religion. When I things go bad, right. you turn to, right. uh, some people would, do would, turn to say, religion. I, mean, I wouldn't say some, I would say most. I would say most. If, if you were to write a list of all the things that you thought were important in your life and you put health on there and you ask yourself, you know, which of these things will continue without you and which ones can't, one of the few things that will stay on that list is health. Is your health because once you're gone, it's gone, and once it's gone, you're gone. Do people realize right. that these are words I, I that we say? I don't truly think people realize the importance of good health. Mm -hmm. um, as a family physician, you tend to see, you see the gamut of people, you see the range of age groups, the range of illnesses, um, and some days it's quite depressing. To see patients I've seen for 20 years and you've said the same thing over and over and the person ends up with a stroke because they did not exercise, they didn't cut back on the salt, they continued to eat the fried foods, they continued to eat um, the nuts and the stuff that in general is good for you but if you, you, you sitting watching TV at night mm -hmm. and on one side is a bowl of ice cream, on the other side is a pack of nuts. And you tell me, well, I want to eat a little bowl of ice cream, but you eat the whole tin of nuts, then that's a problem. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I think that good health is extremely important. And good health, not just of your body, but good health in your mind. Because right. there are people who are fit <coughs> bodies. Mm -hmm whose minds are not right, where it's right. supposed and th and to be. And that's where fitness comes right. in as well, a, isn't it? Point to the, the, the mind, because the mind. for instance, when it comes to eating, mm -hmm. right, you can have a person who is really lean, fit, you know, can do a uh, hundred push-ups in one sitting, mm -hmm. but they eat junk or they eat healthy, but they eat through compulsion. You know, well, yeah, they, they, you know, they actually it, eat right, to so continue to stay like that, not for the enjoyment right, of, of exactly. eating. Exactly, so there's, there's, there's a fear-driven mm -hmm. type of eating mm -hmm. where, where eating healthy is concerned. Whereas, you know, I mean, food is not the enemy, really, at the end of the day. And food is... Oh, I love food. It should be enjoyed. Food is enjoyed. Some people have a cheat day. I have a mm -hmm. cheat day. And on that day, you know, I enjoy food. It reminds me that I'm still human and not a fitness professional, mm -hmm. you know, every day, 24-7. Yeah, but why is it that some people 
they eat, you know, like, you know, doctor and I, we could eat exactly the same mm -hmm. thing, the same quantity, yeah. but yet I will put on the weight and the doctor um, won't. I mean, why does that happen? I, I was actually reading something on that the other day. I think one of the things is, is body types. Um, metabolism. Mm -hmm. Metabolism is the rate at which you're burning calories. Mm -hmm. Body type, for instance, can range from between ectomorph, endomorph, and mesomorph, and how your body deals with food and stores fat mm -hmm. is, is determined in part by those three types of body, um, body types. Mm -hmm. Metabolism, um, if you have a low metabolism, there's a tendency to store more fat. Mm -hmm. um, if you have a high metabolism, let's say, for instance, ectomorphs who are slim built mm -hmm. tend to have, have very, very high metabolisms, and in the industry, we call them hard gainers. And these people can eat, like, you know, 2,000, 3,000 calories a day mm -hmm. and not family. put on an ounce of fat. And so when they come to me, they want they come to gain weight. <laughs> All right. <Whereas laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there they are. Okay. So so what are these? Um, so this is a picture of actual an actual biggest loser contestant. Mm -hmm. And on the left, my left, um, is the picture of person at his regular weight. On the right is a picture of that person after they've dropped all the weight. Mm -hmm. What you can't, what you don't see is that this individual is what's called skinny fat. All right, they're skinny called fat. skinny fat. Yes, slim down, but still have a very high body fat. Percentage. How is he skinny fat? Because he's skinny now. Yeah, he's skinny fat because his body fat percentage is high. In fact, part of the the, mm -hmm. the study that I was I was looking at actually um, highlighted that individual in terms of of, of the person's body fat. Um, this picture just really shows the difference between. Uh, person who's fat, you can see where the fat is stored in the arms, mm -hmm. the upper arms, um, in particular, the stomach area, a, mm -hmm. lot, a lot of visceral fat, the more visceral fat that you have, then, you know, you're in a high risk country. And when I do my body analysis and I tell people, for instance, when you, the more visceral fat, high risk country means diabetes, um, cardiovascular disease, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, hypertension, high blood pressure, and all these mm -hmm. different issues um, that come into play when you increasingly eat poorly and you start to store more and more body fat, the weight goes up and so on. But, but I think it's, it's important to note that th there is now a big um, thing with the metabolic syndrome or, or syndrome X, they call it, um, that the fat, the visceral fat is a killer. Yeah. The visceral fat that hugs your liver, that hugs around your heart, that hugs around your stomach, it's extremely hard to get rid of once it gets there. It's yeah, like it's yeah. sticky fat. Yeah. So the key thing really is to try not to get there in the first place. Mm -hmm. Because once you get it, it's very hard work to, to get, get rid of it. I have a question. It might sound really silly, but I'm going to hold it till we get uh, to the other end of the break. But here's a reminder of tonight's giveaways. Name Delaw Factor Live's two newer sponsors tonight. We mm -hmm. stop taking your answers at 9.30. So if you haven't responded yet, please do so. You could receive a DFL a gift bag. Of course, this is DBS. You're watching Delaw Factor Live. And we'll be right back after the break.